Hello, Crafty Angels. Welcome to the One Word Collab with Miss Millie, the silent crafter over there, if I'm right. Um, oh, I just got my own notification. How do you like those bananas? <laughs> um, today we're going to be working on any holiday you choose. I'm choosing to do Christmas. I have my napkins. I have my corte stock right here uh oh I hear an echo can you hear an echo this time I don't hear it I heard a little bit I don't know um testing one two no, okay I, I don't hear it now, now. you don't hear I it will <laughs> Hello, Miss Angie. Hello, Angie. Trouble is here. Trouble is here. <laughs> that's a good way to start the day or the night. <laughs> or trouble. The that's that. That's my uh, trouble. Uh, my sidekick in the crafting. Uh, you know. Community. Yeah. I will be using things from Paulette Slater, Tracy Fox. Uh, Shannon Dager, and let me see the cart stock I have here. It is from uh, well, I uh, did DC die customs of you. And then I'm also going to be using this this one here. I have cardstock from this one. And then I also have papers that I'm going to be using from this one, which is uh, Lost and Found by, don't know. My mind's eye. And as I said, I'm printing some stuff out um, from my computer, from Tracy Fox, Paulette Slater, Shannon Dagger, um, Tsunami Rose. It's going to be a lot. These napkins here were sent to me by Miss Margaret Lovinger, who is Miss Margaret Hernandez in the chat. Awesome. So... Hello, Margaret. Hello, Angie. Who else we got in the house? I don't know. If you're watching in the bleachers in the little in the dugout, or as Miss Beth says, if you're watching from the balcony, join us in the house. Uh oh. I should have brought my clip. Oh um, boy, I have. I had trouble today. This sewing machine is still alive. Uh oh. But I have said some bad words. Oh. Oh no. Now it's going to give you even more trouble. Let me see. I'll fix it in a minute. Mm -hmm. oh, Whoa, this is kind of small, but that'll work. Popping pills, popping pills. Okay, this is what I'm going to use from Tsunami Rose. I got other things printing out. Here's the other, the same thing, but a, a little bit bigger. I'm going to be making a card. Hey, hover. No, I'm kidding. As always, me and my cards. And oh, dear. Stumbles and trips over, over Margaret Nee. Oh, and lands on Angie. Oopie. Oh, dear. Marty. Hello, Marty. Marty's tripping and flipping over everybody today. How are you, Miss Marty? We're glad to have all you guys here. Thank you for your support and continued coming to our channel to watch to see what we do and how we do it so let me trim down these three sheets here 
Okay, so what I've done so far is that I printed out Joy to the World, uh, this crazy looking poinciata, or cool looking poinciata. And I'm gonna turn to card, but I also am black and white because I did it on the laser printer so that I can foil it. And I cut it out two so that way, in case I make a mistake with one, then I have a backup. Always good to have a backup. This is going to take me a little bit of time because I'm trying to figure, I forgot to ram, label <laughs> everything. I have it all labeled as to what folder, but I didn't wait for it to print so I can write the person's name on it. I just went for it, Boop. straight out. I'm also gonna be using stuff from um, Victoria Design. Whoops, no, I didn't move that. No, don't do that. Uh. Okay, so now let me see how I'm gonna do this. First, maybe I should. I'm going to use this one right here, that one right there. Let me cut. Still having issues with the sewing machine, Angie? Yeah. Oh, dear. Okay, this is Tracy Fox here. So, Are we using this? What's this? Oh, I like those stamps. These? I'm trying to figure out what folder I have them in so I can mark it on here. I think it's the uh, um, group that I'm in that does freebies. Uh -huh. And I'm trying to find her folder that I have. Let me double check here. Yep, it is. This is Paulette's uh, Slater. Paulette. So that's that. Slater. Whoa, that's a big slate, don't you think? Oh, I like these. Now, these are from, I don't remember, but I'm using these tags, so I got to try to figure out where those came from. <laughs> yeah, help. <laughs> I don't remember what A lot of my stuff came free from Pinterest, so... If I don't find it on my computer, it means it, the a folder for it, it means it came from Pinterest. But I'm looking in my other things folder and I'm seeing a lot more Christmas stuff this. Hmm. Okay, I don't remember what this came from, so it's gonna be used somehow, some way, somewhere. But we're gonna see what happens. Somehow, some way, somewhere. Oh yeah. So now, oops, you know what I forgot to get? White card stuff. Whoops, the daisy. Let's see if I can find some and die cuts with a view, which I <laughs> have no. No level, no level. Nope. But I happen to have some right here, right underneath me. 
so it's not a problem. Girl, I stayed busy this morning from the time I got up to just now. Laundry, I scrub a dub dub with no men in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> you know that little saying like we used to do in school? Scrub a dub dub, three men in a tub. This cardstock is uh was sent to me in some happy mail by Miss Margaret. It's this one. I'll be using this. It's different colors. They got like the what they call it, peach or tan. Oh. Pretty. Manila, manila color, white, uh, gray, and black. And if I remember, as we go, oh, look at this. I think I printed them too big, but I want the stocking so, and the garland so it don't matter. As I was passing a fleet of American soldiers, they were all blushing. I said, yep, Angie's still having so machine problems. <laughs> Uh-oh, Angie. Uh, my Magali, what lovely nails you have. Thank you, thank you. No kids, mothers or brothers here, right? Now, just make, no kids here. Guys, it's only 57 degrees outside. Lady that Marshall hit the back of my foot and yelled at her. I told her three times, you hit the back of my foot, you hit the back of my foot, you hit the back of my foot. Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. I ordered some Jergens Ultra. I want pretty hands too. Yep. Keep them moisturized with uh, lotion and... Every once in a while, dip them in milk and honey. Oh, for, for about a good 20 minutes. I got up at 6 30 this morning and I have not stopped. So we got a lot of early birds. Mm. I completely scrubbed my bathroom. From top to bottom. I did my dishes. I brought broke grandkids to school. Did a load of laundry. Picked up my granddaughter from school. Busy bee. That's enough. I am still going. Milk and honey, cold or warm? Cold. As cold as you can get it. As cold as you can stand it. It'll be cold. It'll be warm. Um, I read. I have read uh, many years ago. Um, scientists have were looking into why some of the ladies that are farmers and they would milk the cow by hand. That their hands were very young, and it was contributed to the milk. Mm. So I've been doing milk and honey for many years now. <laughs> I don't like milk. I don't you like milk. Gotta, you, ain't gotta drink it. you ain't gotta drink it. Just put it on your hand. Soak it. Have me put the milk in the bowl and soak so, so keep your hands in there for a good 20 minutes. Went to the store with mom in law, then to have a hunter warped, frozen off. Third time for that. Planter warped. See, I usually have everything uh, pre cut and whatnot today. Vanessa ain't prepared. I was doing my cutting here. Um, I've been at it for a good hour and a half. Girl, after I scrubbed down my bathroom today, 
I was so tired. I didn't even want to think about nothing. I didn't even nap or anything. So as soon as this line is over and I hit that pillow, I'm going to be out for a couple of hours. I don't like the light. Oh, yeah. The bottom of your foot is called the planter. I have I have um, plantar fasciitis. My feet literally hurt when I walk. I have to go. What's that called again? Plantar fasciitis. Uh huh. I don't know. That's what the doctor called it. You never heard of it. No. Nah. Now, nah. okay. I know, right? That's what I can keep saying now. Okay. That's I just got okay, it. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Fatty. Fat. Whatever. Me and medical terms don't get along. Even though I'm trained in it, I still don't get along. Okay, so now let's go ahead and cut this. Let's go on this side. Yep. It's almost like having a sperm worker, but this is constant, more constant pain when you walk on your feet. It's not part of the of the uh, what's it called that you got? Um, it's the entire foot that hurts. Uh, whoa! Margaret, I understand. Darn correction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know the feeling. As many times as it happened to me, I know I uh, feel your pain, sister, or something like that. It's pain of the kind of the fibromyalgia, fascia. Yeah, it's the pain of the bottom, the bottom of the feet, and literally hurts like crazy when you walk. So I have to have special made shoes with like a temper uh, insole yeah. to make it comfy when I walk. So I have to go get a new pair. My old pair, I'm going to turn into a pair of slippers to walk around the house with. That's a good idea. I'm going to cut the back off to where I can just slide my foot in. Nice DIY. Yeah, well, maybe you should do a video on that. That'll help other people, too. Um, when I get my new ones, I will do a video on plantar fasciitis and show mm -hmm. them what kind of shoes I have. Yeah. I see the slippers on Amazon for this, for plantar fasciitis. And it is, they're not too expensive, but they are expensive. I've seen them for like $30. Mine do that, but not to walk on. They hurt after, then a few, the next few days. Oh no, mine hurt when I walk. Because I can actually feel... Like I'm walking on pins and needles, literally. Like my left foot, the whole front part is completely like numb and tingly. And it literally stings when I walk. So, got my glue, got this, got that, got my pencil. Mine's do that, but not. Got my little mini mat here. Walk on my shirt. Got my card. Then the next few days. What am I gonna do first? Wow. 
I feel pins and needles. I gotta oh. measure this. Now, have you guys ever had a fiery sensation going up the legs? I have. I, it I feels like somebody that. burned you with something. Yeah, I have to, every time I get there, I have to look down like, is there a fire around me or something? I told my doctor, but she like just shrugged it off. Some doctors do. When I tell my doctor stuff like that, she literally goes into all kind of research. Re ready to rock and roll, says Margaret. Okay, let's measure. I gotta get me a smaller um vector ruler. Your nails look like candy. Oh, like that candy corn. Wow, I didn't think uh -huh. that. It, I, I only thought of fall, autumn, for Thanksgiving. If he would have had to look black on, then it would be in a week. They is already growing <laughs> out. It's been a week. It's been at least a week. This side grows faster than this one. It's too dark down there. There we go. So let's see how I'm gonna do this because these don't punch. So this is five and a half by four and a quarter. No, okay, I'm Millie, good. you do the math for me. <laughs> You're good at this. If I make two mats, what size would I have to make them? Two mats. Mm -hmm. To go on the top and on the inside. You want to mat the top of that? Like put a uh, uh, little, little, little. How like can this I explain? Right here, I got this mat yeah. frame and I'm just putting it on top. Yeah, I want to put a mat, put but not the frame, here. just a plain mat. We found some the other day that looks What's like Vanessa's name. Oh, What's these the are Halloween. Halloween. So it's five and a half by four and a quarter. I would have to go five for the first mat. It's five and a half by four and a quarter? Mm-hmm. Five and one half by four and one quarter. So add, add, add like, you can add anywhere from a half an inch to an inch more to get your mat. So I do five by four and a half. But then your image is bigger by, bigger than the mat. No, cause this is gonna be my images for this card. You see? Oh, that's I what can... I was saying. What size is the image? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use these, the, the holly here and this ornament. And then uh -huh. so I'm going to, I might have to reprint some of this. Maybe I'm going to use these ornaments to hang at the top. So maybe four and a half and three by three and a half or four by three. I would do different sizes to see which one you'd be more satisfied with. Okay. Because I know you're supposed to go a half an inch from each one. Don't follow no rules. I know, right? Yeah, I don't but I have to more. mark everything so when I go put this on my blog, I'll have everything there. I have all the measurements and everything to go. Okay. I don't, I don't follow rules. I don't get along with the rules. I'm going to go with this side. I want the plain side. No, this side on the bottom. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna go five this way. The metal nails have lasted for a long time. Huh? Your your nail are, are they um they're powder. They're powder. They're dipped. 
the dip powder. They've lasted. You've had them on for what over a month now. Yeah. See, and they're just starting to get where they are separating. I got them the middle of last month. Yeah, I've had them for quite a while. They did a good job. I love my nail tech. In fact, I got to make an appointment for next month soon. Probably call them on Monday. About four and a half. See, that's why I don't like measuring. I just like click, clock, clock. Cut here, cut there, and I'm done. <laughs> yeah, see, I didn't measure none of this. I just... I know the I'm thing is, is when you do a blog, you have to have everything precise. Yeah, well, once you get it done, measure everything up. Yeah, but everything's got already be put together. That's okay. <laughs> so I won't be able to measure anything. You know, it's your mat measure, your mat. Oh, you this is a little bit too big, too long. Sir, we're going to do the milli measurement just <laughs> right there. <laughs> if it don't work, blame it on milli, right? <laughs> if it don't work, I blame it on milli. Oh, remind me after this is done, I got to go hashtag it. Yep. Hashtag Millie the Siding Crafter. Hashtag it. Perfect. Look at that. How pretty. But you see, I want this side. So that's going to be pretty with the red on top or darker green. So this is, let me measure it with this little mat here. Four. By five. So all I have to do is erase one the half here and I got the perfect size. Mm -hmm. So that's number one. Now we gotta go for number two. And I want that one to be red. And you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm not measuring nothing. <laughs> I'm just gonna outline this one and cut right on the inside easy peasy lemon squeezy and there you go measure once cut twice right i measure a whole bunch of time a whole bunch of times and cut a whole bunch of times so i get it right poor ann she's, she's having major issues with her machine oh, today mm -hmm. Everybody's telling her to yell at the machine. She did. She cussed it out. Oh, dear. Well, now that machine will listen, it won't have a choice, now will it? <laughs> Thanks, Miss Margaret. I got to get back into what I used to do is measuring everything and you know, writing it on my blog. Can save that one for later. I have a, I have a blog, you know. You want to know how long it's been since I wrote on my blog? How long? It's been a while. Me, probably about eight years. Mm -hmm. It's been eons. So by writing the measurements now, I will have it when I put it on, to put it on the blog. Okay. Perfecto. Look at that. Whoa. Let me see. Oh, I don't know. This side? Or this side? Well, you know how I ran out of, um, what's it called? Lamination sheets. Mm -hmm. And then I kept these little scraps. 
because it's good. that's what I'm going to be okay. using these little scraps. Now I got to remesh it this because I chopped some more off of it. This is three and five eighths. Whoops. Bye. Four and a quarter. Let's see, let's remeasure the first one. It's at four. Oops. Let's straighten this out because it's crooked. Four by. I hate these. Um, <laughs> Marty says she cussed it out so bad she made the sailors blush. Mm hmm. They will blush. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. Now, this is going to be a little bit tricky because I want to use different colors for this one image. So, last time it gave me a hard time. Let's see. Let's gonna do it again. I'm gonna try to use this little. Oh shoot, that's right, I ruined it. Shoot the boot. Okay, got all of those. So let's put this together. Put the um. If you can um. Put the uh. The screen wider, the, the wide part there. Hang on. See oh, they can see both of us really good on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, the screen is wide. Or you mean like that? Yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that okay. way it brings everything in more better. Okie dokie, Smokey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, I'm going to bring this toward me a little bit. Oh, yeah. I'm going to use my art critic glue instead of my double sided tape today. And she likes the dark side. Oh dear. What, this side? Instead of this one? She says she likes the dark side. Okay, polka dot or plain? Which one? Okay, so what we I'm got the polka dot side or the plain side? Was it? Are they different colors or the same color? No, they're the same paper? color. Not the pink paper. All oh, the darker paper. So the, the oh, one you have again. This one. The polka dotted. Whatever. Oh, okay. Side. She wants the plain side on that one, and it's red. Okay, she wants the dots on the green. So we can put this one on. And then on this one, she wants this side instead of that side. Oh, I understand why she wants that side. This will look good if you do a dollhouse. It will look good on the floor. Mm -hmm. Let's put this one on. There. 
so we got that so far. What 8:30, 8:40, and I only got my mats and my base together. <laughs> so, but whoops. Well, my napkin flew away. Oh. Now, this one's going to have Santa with the word joy. Because, see, he's right there. So, I'm going to cut him out and put him on some cardstock and put him on there. If I can find my skizzers. Anybody seen my skizzers? All oh, the boys and girls now joy to the fishes in the big blue sea. George. <laughs> I don't think it's the right song we're singing. I don't think that's the right one, Millie. Not the right one. Not the right song for Christmas. <laughs> now this is Tsunami Rose Printable. I will link her shop after the video is done. But I have the uh, laminator heated up. Oh, no, I hear my voice echoing again. So what are we working on for Monday, Millie? One letter is G F. No, obviously. No, we're on H. H. Holiday. Cool. <laughs> we're already there, right? No. Exactly. Hmm, that's so, a hard one. Y'all heard it here first. Sing it, sister says Angie. <laughs> yeah, sing it, sing it, sing it, sing it. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, Vanessa. No, 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 no. My vocals ain't what they used to be. C, 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 C. My vocals are not what they used to be. Do we have a singer in the house here somewhere? Now, if I get my youngest daughter in here, now that can belt out something. But she's not around. She's at a tat convention with her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. He's a tattoo artist, so his boss asked him to go to the convention, and he went. This you is his second watch, time. You ever watch Black Ink? Uh, Ink? I've watched, um, oh, what's the one with um, Kat Von D? Voltage. Mm -hmm. I've I watched. Uh, the first one to have uh, it's, it's a TV ink on TV. She has her own makeup line now. Oh, man. No, I didn't know I was going to do that. Oh, look at that. A painting right out to that. Tomorrow, I'm going to scrub down my kitchen. I got to mop the floor in the kitchen, clean my dog's cage, and have that all did. Okay, we have that. Hey, I'm going to keep us from doing that. We're gonna get some of these little ornaments, her. It's gonna fit perfectly where I want them to fit. Okay, now this is a little bit of silver. And I just don't like that it's high. And maybe we can put well, if one, the trees weren't so close together, I could put a tree on here. But the trees are too close together. Mm 
guys, we have to wish Miss Zena some good luck. She's doing a, a gig tonight. Doing a gig tonight. Oh, she's she's a wedding movie. singer. Oh, okay. I had her live yesterday showing off her uh, her pokey tools. Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon. I'm going to do some power too. And I then this car is going to be done except for the inside. I think by applying too many of these, too many times it's going to. And remove all the ink. Let's do it one more time. See? Like a days. Where's the other one? See? I gotta put these on cardstock. And now I'm gonna do this. I don't think I'd be able to cut all this stuff out with the uh, scan and cut because it doesn't have the dark lines on it. Use a black marker. Oh, really? Yeah, use a black marker and outline the picture. Yeah, that's what I have to do. Cool. Thank, thanks for that tip. Mm -hmm. I want to see if I can connect the live to Facebook and Instagram. That way, when we stream, we stream it on three different platforms. And you can do it if you be a member of. I am. Streamyard. I am. Then you I just gotta it. figure out how to do it. I think it, it goes by um your link. Put the link up there, and then it'll automatically do it. Hello, Miss Cheryl. Hello, From Cheryl. .com. Hello, Miss Cheryl. Oh, this is not cooperating. Come on. A real star. Oh, okay. it's static. And then we're going to put that right there. Or maybe do this. After this year, I'll be joining my son on the Oculus. And we're going to be battling it out. Uh-oh. Welcome back, Miss Marty. Welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hey. She's got the vocals tonight. It just goes well with the welcome back. <clears throat> That's all I know. I don't know no more than that. It's Cheryl's Crafty World. Dot com. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Oh, not now. This one really stuck down. This the other one didn't do this. I can do that. Okay, that's good. Okay. Ooh, it's looking good. All right. So let me do. I want to do red and green here. So, what should we do? Gold, 
gold, silver, gold, One more. Silver, gold, <laughs> silver. Mm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What color, what color, what color? Yellow, no. Purple. Let's do purple. One more, we're gonna do the green and then the red. And that'll be our Christmas colors. And the police yeah, that's gonna be red, so we'll do the balls red. Get on with some red balls. Okay, Miss Cheryl. Be right back. I know they have an uh a birthday life for Kateri. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday, Kateri. If you see this, Miss Kateri, happy birthday, girl. I remember when I did my birthday live. I might do what we did last time, remember? Yeah. It was supposed we to watch somebody else's life. It was supposed to be a pajama party, but it didn't work out too well because I didn't have like a whole bunch of people on the live. And I didn't want to mm. be the only person wearing pajamas. Although I was wearing pajamas, but I just didn't yeah. I didn't show myself. I'm always in my PJs when I'm doing videos. Just Me case too sometimes. It. Me too sometimes. Especially like early in the morning. When I'm on in the morning. Hey, if you can't see it, I don't worry about it. Pain in the butt. I I don't celebrate mine either, Angie, because my mom passed away on my birthday. Mm. So I don't celebrate it. Although I know she wouldn't want me to stop celebrating it, but I got the call that afternoon that she had passed away on my birthday at four o'clock. And that's like, that's something that's not easy to forget. No, it's not. Oh, Angie's birthday is after Christmas. My sister's is two days before Christmas. Hmm, I like your dad. I wonder if, if, it, if it's when it's overlapping, if it'll catch on the other side too. So I better just go ahead. Mm -hmm. This foil, I don't know if it'll heat together if one's overlapping the other. I wonder if I put this more over here, put all three of these in one corner and put the hot, oh, I like that even better. <laughs> My sister's, it was December 28th. My youngest sister is December 16th. But December birthdays. Mm -hmm. I haven't talked to her in about three years. I try to stay away from all their drama. I have a granddaughter that was born 
by C-section on December 31st. The oh, doctor, the day before New Year's. The doctor asked my daughter if she wanted the baby to be born before or after. Um, December 31st, because if she would have been born January 1st, then she could not qualify the baby on her taxes. Oh. For that year. So my daughter went ahead and said, yeah, I'll have her on the 31st so I can go ahead and and uh, put her on uh, for child, what do you call it, earned income or whatever. There. So she was born on thir December 31st with a purpose. Mm -hmm. My dad, Angie's dad was born uh, December 31st. Yeah. That's card number one, guys. I just got to do the inside now. And I know just the paper I'm going to use for the inside. Now I got to go and print it. It's going to be some pretty stuff, this. Okay, I got to just move this one over a little bit more. Oh, I keep fussing around with this. I'm never going to get this one done. It's so simple to do, and yet so complicated. It's simple, but you're making it complicated. No, it's what, the stuff I'm using. <laughs> how i'm using it i need to see i need, I need to do some research on, re, research on youtube to see if there's an easier way to do this because i'm too old to be doing things a long way around oh well i keep ruining my folder now it's all inked up we got cardstock stuff on it. Uh oh. Okay. Where did all the tsunami roll stuff go? Uh oh. Did you lose it? Yep. Oh no. It switched folders, I think. Uh oh. How did that happen? Is that okay? There it is. Okay, this one came out better than that one. <laughs> oh, God. It went into different. <laughs> I'm going to really have to sit here on Sunday and fix all my files. This is ridiculous. Don't you have a, a tsunami rose folder? Yeah. But so, when I was printing the stuff out, what happened was is I dragged and dropped hers into the Victoria uh, design folder. So I got to put her folder back separate. Go into the search. For, oh, okay. So you know where it's at then. Yeah. I have it right now. I have it up. Oh, that's not what I wanted, though. I wanted the Christmas one. But well, I got it. I got it. I got it. See, I don't want to print this from this program, though. Marty's is May 4th. <laughs> Mine's July 8th. And mine is April 28th. 
Well, let's put it this way. My mom passed away July 8, 2007. November 26, 2007, my grandson was born. Mm. The same year? Yep. Same year my mom passed, my grandson was born. He was pregnant when your when your mom passed away. No, my daughter was. Oh, excuse me, your daughter. Yeah. Girl. I meant to say that. I meant to say that. It just came out. Oh. Marty's husband's the day before mine. <laughs> Get this, okay? My oldest daughter was born two days before my birthday. Two days before my birthday. See, this is Tsunami Rose, so I'm going to take that and put it right in here. And that way they can journal on it. Make it like a journal. Uh, Greeting journaling card. How's that? Sounds like an idea. Sounds like a great idea. Okay, now. I need to change my blade and my trimmer. Uh oh, I really need to change it now. Now, but I can't change it in the middle of doing this though. So I got a deal. No, it gives me jagged edges. So it needs to be changed. Or I'm gonna run some aluminum foil and resharpen it. Because this the blades for the Fiskars trimmer, uh-uh. Mm -hmm. They're not cheap. And that's just one blade. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah. All, them foil, all them foil colors. Oh, that's pretty. Thank you. You're hired. It was a pain Am in I the young? butt to try to get all those colors in there. What? Look how I ruined the folder. No, you did a good job. The folder's all ruined. Marty's youngest granddaughter was born on 9 11. Wow. That's when I had my full hysterectomy. Right on I remember there. exactly where I was when that happened. I know where I was. I was in the hospital on a surgical bed. Mm -hmm. Surgery done. I was at the uh, anesthesia, not anesthesia, I was just the uh, allergist doctor I was working for when he heard that the plane had hit the Twin Towers. He shut, literally shut down the shop and took us to his house. She was born 9-11-2010. See now. Let's do the Millie thing again. The Millie measuring. Do it. 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 Oh my words. Maybe two silver and one gold. Yep. There two we go. Two silver and one gold. How about that? Two silver and one gold. Okay. Let's do the silver. She just turned 11. Oh, wow. My grandson's going to be 14. 
the day uh the day after Thanksgiving. There's some years his Thanksgiving falls right on his birthday. I'm like, oh. My daughter, my oldest, she's a groundhog baby. She was supposed to be a Valentine, but because of the C-section, they had to move up the date. My mom was a groundhog baby. Yeah. I have a cousin that's born leap year. <laughs> So the 9-11 will always be the day of celebrate. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. What the crap is going on here? Things are falling. And there's nobody but me in my room. The black hole is opening up. Girl, don't say that. Yeah. You're to the crap out of me. Every time I lose anything that's on my table that I'm working on and I lose it, like, I haven't moved. I have to blame it on the black hole. I'm always losing my, my brick, my ruler, something, my scissors, and I'm like, can't find it. And I'm like, okay, went into the black hole. It'll come out the other end sometime. Mm, at some point, right? After I don't oh, your it. camera doesn't like that pink. After I don't need it at all. What's it doing to the pink? To this pink here? To the mat. It, it was doing? just doing that funny looking thing at the bottom. Oh, My son is a Valentine's baby, Margaret says. Oh, cool. Happy Valentine's, baby. I have two kids. This is no joke. Born the same date, but different months. And two years, two, three years apart. How I manage that, I will never know. And I have two daughters that are the same age for about a month and a half, something like that. Oh, wow. Girl, while the other one moves on. Oh, Maybe. his girlfriend, her uh, Margaret's son's daughter, uh, girl, Margaret's son's girlfriend's a leap year baby. Mm. How does that work? I have no idea. They only turn a certain age once a year, once every so often. I have no clue. I know, right. I've always wondered about that. Ooh, okay, this one's done. Really At least something came out pretty nice. Now, let's do this because this is going to be. Next card. I don't know yet. Don't know yet. I'm going to do where's the red. Thought I had the red. Yeah, the red's out somewhere. Oh my god, we've been on here for an hour already, girl. And I still don't have this put together. <laughs> well, you still got an hour to go. So go get you go. Now let's see what I can do with this one. You know what? On one of these. Instead of making a card, I'm gonna do a tag, a couple of tags. One, two, I'm gonna do three tags. So this is gonna be the three tags to do. So on card number two, what should we do? How about this one but i still haven't figured out who did this well can't use it until i figure out who did it because i want to give them credit for their work can you say he rocked the boat hey rock the boat baby rock the boat Hey, don't get us started with music, okay? 
Okay. This one's going to be a napkin card. And it's going to be a nice poinsettia. So, we are going to... I was going to do a poinsettia shaker. I should make the card a uh, shaker. Well, I'll do it next week, next Friday. Yep. We're going to work on Christmas until December. How's that? Yep. By then, I have enough cards to send out for next year. <laughs> Marty <laughs> says, don't rock the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I don't want to drown. Okay, green. Okay, green, this green. is getting frustrating here. It's not green. Where's the green? Did I have the green? I had the green. Here it is. Um, I think I'm gonna ask for foils, a set of foils with the colors being like the true color, because this is not like a real there we green. Go. This is close as green as I can get. And this is not a real red. Close as red I can get. So I'll be asking for crafty stuff every year for Christmas. Actually, you know when I get my Christmas gifts, I get them on Black Friday. I used to put the empty boxes under the Christmas tree, but I don't do that anymore. I used to do the same thing. And I used to stuff for Black Friday. I'll be like, I got it. I'm going to use it. I'll be used to say, uh-uh. Under the tree it goes. I'm like, no, it's not fair. I already know what it is. So I used to put the empty stuff in, under the tree. But for the past few years, I haven't done it anymore. I used to do the same thing. Really, Margaret? Tag, you're it. Okay. I see how it is. Marcus being the class clown for the night. Family to... or home? Cool. Family home? Nice. Now, how are we going to adhere this? Because all my stuff is in the other room. Got it. Got me some little Mod Podge right here. And now I need a brush. Actually, I'm going to use my fingers. How's that? Nope, changed my mind. I'm going to use a Dunkin' Donuts card for a spreader. Spread, spread, spread. Spread, spread. Now, I'll put that down right there. I'm going to put Mr. Napkin on her. Smooth them out. And then we're going to take Mr. Spreader here. And... My pie is just stuck around here. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, dear. Real, real, real okay, pretty. Angie, I forgot. My bad. What'd you forget? I forgot not to read her stuff out loud. Not, no, it's not good. They are home. Um, oh. She doesn't want them to know. <laughs> Okie dokie. It's good to know. Because. All right. Now. Now we need one of these. <laughs> oh, Marty. Sweet solitude. And that's not big enough. Oh man, I hope one of these pieces is big enough. Because then I can't complete my project. Like, seriously? This one. Nope. Yes, this one will. Okay. So. Now, we're going to dry this with the little fan. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I'll let you tell me when it's good to read it. Okay. Now, let's see. Oh. Still a bit tacky. Okay, good. So what did I say we were going to do for H holiday? But oh, yeah, because I, I can't figure nothing out for H. Oh, this is pretty. Pretty. See? Let me see. Oh yes. I might pass it straight on to the the, the um the cardstock. That now, a really nice card. Let's work on the inside before I finish working on the outside. And again, I'm gonna use tsunami rose on the inside. Look at that! I got my pies on my fingernail. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna glue this down. Okay, well, See, I like to leave all my cards inside blank and let the people that get it uh, uh, write in it, or I wait until I decide to send it to somebody in order to write in it. Yeah. That way I don't have the wrong sentiment for the wrong person. Exactly. And I still gotta let this dry, but it's pretty. Card number two. Finito. Now to work on these beautiful tags over here. And these are from, well, Pinterest. And it says, cut out these tags and use them in your project. Oh, uh, okay. I'll follow the direction. What about you, Millie? Mm-hmm. Lead the way. I'll be right behind you. See, I gotta have my finger at the bottom of the scissors to support my hand from moving. Joy to the world. Yep. That's what I do. You see, I don't write in my cards either. I'll slip like a little, uh, like, I'll take something like this, write on it, and slip it right into the card so they can reuse it themselves. Oh, I practically got this right on right off the bat. I had one lady, I had made a whole bunch of cards for her. She told me, don't write on the inside. Just send the cards blank. And I did that. And you know what she did? Two week uh the the day she got it, oh, these don't look good. Um and they don't have a sentiment or anything on the inside. I'm like you told me to do them like that, so I did them that way. So <laughs> don't you blame me. I says, well, if you don't like them, then send them back. To this day, I have never gotten those cards back. And I can guarantee you, 
That lady sold every single card. Okay, now I'm going to do with When I first got married and I first moved up here, the stamps were so cheap that I was in this group on uh, on America Online, and everybody in the group sent a card to each person, right? And that year, don't ask, but I sent about 300 cards out that year. I sent to uh, that group plus my family. And it was over three. I had to start sending like a uh, week before Thanksgiving so they all got it on time. This year, you have to send your cards out like super early because they said that they were going to be backed up. Mm-hmm. I'm not sending on this year, I don't think. Because I would have to have them set in like January or July to have them sent out in November, October, November. You know what I mean? I got glue all right here. My posh. What causes the stamp to have an indention in it like that? When I press down, that indention stays in there. And this mm -hmm. little white candle. Oh, it's got a nasty smell, like old crayon. And this is Studio from Joanna Fabric Studio G. I think they sell that brand too in Walmart. They sell them in Michael's Studio G. Yeah. I got mine from Joanna Fabric. A huge sale that they had on the inks and the Tim Holtz thing. They were on sale too at the time. I'm, everything I buy is either on clearance or on sale. Mm-hmm. I haven't been in a craft store Black Friday. since the pandemic started. I sent cards out last year. I know it's hard. I was in a pen pal group in Mary Jane's Farm. I know. The groups I used to be on with Yahoo. When what Yahoo, I used to do back in the day. is everybody that I sent to, this is how I started dwindling down everything that I sent. Okay. I kept a list, a spreadsheet, okay, of everyone that I sent to every year. And as the years go by, it, whoever didn't send back never got it the next year, the following year. And I would get an email. Why didn't I get a card this year? Because you didn't send me one last year. Why should I waste my money and send you another one? I would have I told them, well, why didn't I get one last year? Exactly. That's what I did. I told them, I'm like, 
You didn't send one last year, so you don't get one this year. And I literally dwindled down my list that way. A question with a question. A question is answer with a question. Exactly. You don't like it? I know send it. This can be used as a gift tag. Stamp to and from on the back, and I got me a good gift tag right there. But they're all getting gift cards this year, so I'm not worried. The easiest thing is giving a gift card. You can hang it on the tree. Exactly. That's the easiest way to do it, Ange. I'm just going to tell everyone in the chat this year. Mm -hmm. Hey, it saves money. You know? Either that or do it where well, Angie doesn't have Facebook. So she would have to do it through chats or email. Okay. I wanted that big, but that's okay. But what I'm gonna do is just do it the easy way and do a video, put it on my channel saying merry christmas do one for new year's i'm done finito i'm done easy, done, done. Easy. huh I'm done 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 that's the way me and my cousin louisiana do it for the family that lives far away we can't send anything or whatever just go on Facebook and say, Merry Christmas, everybody. And that way you don't have to worry if you get something back from them or not. We usually just do virtual on uh, chat or on our Facebook. We just do a virtual card. Virtual cards do. cost money, girl. Come on. No, a free I one. There's free ones out there for Facebook and for Messenger, Facebook chat. I like that. Look how pretty. All you have to do is Google. I don't have to do nothing. Everything's already done. <laughs> I just got to cut them out. But no, I'd rather do it that way than have to worry about... Because when my parents were alive, Every Christmas, I was spending to get their presents and to ship it to them every year. And it got to be too much because I was sending a huge box every year. I mean, I made candy stockings for the kids. I had a small little gift for each kid, a gift for my parents. Cards for everybody else in the family. Every year it would cost me almost 40 bucks to send a, a package to them for Christmas. And then on top of that, I would call them every Christmas. So it's like I did the devil duty. I didn't mind it, but I couldn't do it now if they, you know. It would either get a, uh, a gift card and be happy or nothing at all. But I don't. Kids, when they were little, they got toys and uh, mm -hmm. electronics, electronics. But when they became teenagers, then we started doing gift cards. And yep. now that some of them have their own homes and we get them household goods, and I do everything through Amazon, and it's free shipping, and it goes directly to their home. 
Yep, that's the way to do it. Get do the prime thing, and you're good to go. Yeah, you know. Earlier now, since my two of my girls moved out of state, I always have their Christmas stuff be delivered to Amazon. I mean, that's the easy way to go. I have two grand granddaughters that are in college, so they get college stuff for Christmas. Like nice. My money. parents, okay. When we used to go on vacation every year, um, they had the same one year we had went, and they had the same TV. No joke from when I was a kid and the color was just starting to go where it started to be black and white so I had told him I'm like we're going to Walmart we had to go to Walmart to get something I don't remember what it was and I told him while we were there I'm like let's give my parents a TV even though I know they're gonna reject it when we get home but they didn't have a chance to reject it because I wouldn't let them. Well, my mom said, y'all shouldn't have did that. And my older sister's like, they don't want it. I'll take it. I said, look, I'd rather return the thing and instead of give it to you. <laughs> they accepted it. Because there's the picture tube was going out in it. And I couldn't see. The kids that the grandkids my mom was raising watching a freaking black and white TV. Mm -hmm. So we just bought them a TV and everything. And before we came home, every year before we came home, we got them uh, some takeout food for our last night there. So. You know, I mean that's when we had the good, the good stuff. You know, when the world wasn't the way it is today. There. Yeah. Okay, two cards, three tags. What else can I make? <laughs> I'm still not done with my first card. Oh, don't worry about it, girl. I'm just having fun over here. On the slow puck. Okay, because that's you. Oh, wow. That was, that's a good idea. I'm going to start with your names for last year. We bought lottery tickets and put them. I always do that for my parents, give them lottery tickets. Read your names one year only. That's when everybody lived here in Florida. Now everybody's spread all over the place. I have a sister that lives in North Carolina, brothers that live in upstate New York. Um, daughters living out in. See, all my family still lives in Louisiana. The other one in Alabama. Just like everybody's different areas now. So it's hard when you got to do it that way. So now everything's through Amazon, which is fine by me. As long as you got Prime and it's done that way, mm -hmm. turn it around, Millie. Medallia. Around. That's around. pretty. Thank you. Very simple. Now you gotta do is fold it over and you gotta shake her card. It is a card. Oh. 
Cool. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to put poinciera. Where's my poinciera? Poinciera. Love the cards. Cute. Now I'm at a loss of what to make. I'm going to start calling you a two-hour tour. Two-hour tour. It's not going to be Gilligan's Island, girl. Gilligan's mm. Island, that's Zena with a three-hour tour. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I have two more pieces of cardstock. What can I do? What can I do? So, I think what I'll do is give joy to the world. Should I put it down here, maybe? No, I like it overlapping oh, right there. You can't see the, the world. Joy to the world. Like that. Okay. I got to figure it out like that. I just two. Okay. I know what I'm gonna do. I have a two big collabs coming with Mrs. Gigi. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start that. Mm -hmm. I can't start it now, but I'm gonna start planning. The first project is already planned. I need to start planning the second one. Okay, my ducky. Let's see. I want this on one part. Now I can cut this out. Wait a minute. How am I going to do this? For a card? To put on a card? Yeah, I want to get this part on one part. And then try to get this part to put on the side. So I have to cut this out. Let me see. Fold this in half. Now let's see if I do this, if I glue it to the paper first and then trim around it, I'll have this part to cut out to put on the corner here and it's going to give me just enough room. Let's do it. Do it, do it, do it. I thought the back would <laughs> say Mary... Marty. Christmas, Marty. <laughs> ah, Merry Christmas, Marty. Merry Christmas. I'll say it. I'll say it. Merry Christmas, Marty. No, she thought the back of the card would say Merry Christmas, Marty. Mm-hmm. That's why I said I'll, I'll just go ahead and say it. It's not on the back of the card, so I'll just say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where's my finger blade? I'll probably do another one and do it uh, as a giveaway on my on my channel Monday. And if if I do, because I'm gonna get on the Oculus tonight with my son, and then we'll probably be spending the whole weekend. Oh, so you're a gamer too? Huh? Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm, I've always been a gamer since the very first Atari that came out. I used to play Atari, but my favorite one was a centipede and Pac Man. Pac Pac Man. Pac Man. Oh my God! I used to uh, beat my cousin that used to play 
dad by herself. I used to beat her in the game all the time. She would get mad. Every time she brought her Atari over to play the game, she would get mad every time I beat her. Before that came out, I always played the uh, arcades. Mm -hmm. Centipede? I love playing Centipede. But I haven't played that game. I play a similar game to Centipede on uh, the Facebook Messenger between my brother and his Mm -hmm. girlfriend. See? Now, I can take this part here and put it on this side like that. And then put Merry Christmas as a slant over here. Don't forget Merry Christmas, Marty. Yes, Merry Christmas, Marty. <laughs> that would be something cool, though. Well, you Already welcome, have Marty. the name on the per- for the person. You never know. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of slick that way, so better be watching. Me, I, I have moving. just enough room. Me, I'm moving silence. I know in silence. I have just enough room on this card here to put this piece here. So, wait, this was supposed to go. I think I'm pressed hard on this until I'm ready. Merry Christmas, Vanessa. <laughs> Vanessa. I have a niece in law. Her name is Vanessa. She lives in Philadelphia. Girl, a lot of the chats I go in right now, there's so many Vanessas in it. They literally have to say our last name. My hands are starting to go wang, 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 wang. Yeah, with all the crafty that you're coming up with. One right after the other. Hmm? No rest for the weary. Let's see. We'll have to cut in between here a little bit. Huh? How does that look? Or should I do away with the poinciata? And use oh, I like that. that. Hmm. Mm, I don't have enough room for the light, but I can put the light over here. Let me see. I got to measure it on the card. Uh, I've had a lot of people call me Nessa. Mm -hmm. A lot of people on the internet call me Nessa. Certain people I don't want calling me that because when it comes out of their mouth, it makes no sense. But... That's all right, Marty. You can call me Nessa. And put this right there. Oh, my God. (gasps) Another gorgeous card to be done, to be had. Notice I'm not. 
Thank you very much. Wow. I gotta go get a hair clip because I'm sweating in the back of my neck. And I'm not even doing anything yet. She says it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. That's why I said thank you. Thank you, thank you. There. Now flip it over, trim this piece off. Now I need to put the deer on the card. And Mrs. Deer, you're going right there. I'm gonna go make me some hot chocolate. Oh, real quick. My God. oh, that is cute. Yeah, but I just made a big boo boo. What happened? I was supposed to put it on the card stock, cut it out, and then put it on here. I just stuck it straight to the card. You can print another one now. That's exactly how we know it's you, Ange. When my nephew set up my phone, he misspelled my name. So I didn't change it. So y'all could call me from the other Ange, Angie's. You can, oh, you can, you can tell me from the other Angie's. Yeah. Put another one and glue it over that one. I only printed one. Let me see. I think I printed two of them. I think, I think, I think, I think. Because if I printed only one, I would literally have to search my external hard drive to find another one. The same one. Let me see. I'm going to go make me some hot chocolate really quick. Yeah, but I won't be able to do the lamp. I will only be able to do the deer. That's okay. I got it. You got it? Yeah, I'm going to leave it like this. But I want to find something to Maybe brighten it up a little bit. You're some, you're some, you're some, um, you use uh, some, what's it called? You know what I can do? That, Where's that the napkin is. I had? Well, I glued part of it to the paper here. I'm going to have so many projects share. Thank you, Miss Marty. Um, videos to make that. I'm going to be recording most of the night. I'm going to take this and put it right up. My project right up here. Where is Miss Margaret at? Did she fall asleep on us? Hmm, if I can find a nap, I can. I want to get the poinsettia, the uh, holly off of the 
a napkin. But I don't know where I put the napkin. You lost your napkin? Yeah, I want to get the holly part off, but I can't. I found it, but they don't have holly on it. They only have that. And that's going to go to a different project, not this one. Mm -mm. So, if I can find me. Oh, no, that's too small. That's too small. Can't use this one because, who's this one? Oh, Paulette. But it's not what I want. I can put a small tree in the corner. I'm going to see if I have some holly in here. I doubt it. I don't want to put Santa on it. I want what I want, what I want. I have no holly. Well, it'd be kind of hard for me to grab it through the camera now, wouldn't it? <laughs> Stackings are too big. See, I want it this size, but I want it on the napkin. No holly napkin. Bert, no it's Christmas not gonna work. <gasps> Woo -hoo, I found no, some. No holiday napkins at all. You don't have no holiday napkins, girl. Nope. Hmm. I found some holly. You drew some, Marty? Okay, ladies, I want to ask you all a question to see who has experienced this weird thing that I experienced. I ended up in the hospital on the 20th. I got up that morning to go to my doctor's appointment. And you know how when you wake up first thing in the morning, you got to go to the bathroom? Well, instead of peeing, because I had this huge urge, like I was full, my bladder was full, I had a lot of blood come out. I'm going to go into the hospital for that. And they say it's a urinary tract infection, but I had no symptoms, so I don't get it. And Here we go. If anybody has gone through that. There we go. We got the holly. Had my insides falling out. Girl, my whole body's falling out. Not just my insides. I I got scared with the blood. I can imagine having my insides fall out. How does that happen? Somebody told me that happens because of hysterectomy. I don't know if that's true or not. Three cards, three. I think I did good tonight. Major symptom in a day or two. No. This, I, I started breaking out with fever, not nothing bad, nothing high, not a high fever, but a slight fever. After I started taking the antibiotics, but I was taking antibiotics 
like the week before that. I was taking antibiotics. Why was I taking antibiotics? I can't remember. I ended up in the hospital. That was the first time you went to the hospital. You were taking the antibiotics. Yeah, the, the month prior to in October. Uh -huh. The 20th to so the 23rd. Them having you on those for so long, it could have gave you an infection. It was trying to cure one infection, but it probably gave you another. Another one. So I caught it in time then. Well, seeing on the blood, I wouldn't see why somebody wouldn't rush to the hospital. Matter of fact, call the ambulance. Mm. I had to get it removed. I had a hysterectomy, full hysterectomy in my um 30s. Me too. It was after my youngest was born. I had but I almost bled to death. Yeah, that was my problem. Always. Lots. Nine, ten, twelve days. Yeah, it killed the good bacteria too. Mm -hmm. My sister, she, I, when I went, I say I got lucky because I went while it was still a tumor, which was uh, cancerous. Later on, the doctor said it would be like in five years, it'll turn cancerous. So I had the full hysterectomy done at that time and all of that removed. My sister didn't do that. And when she went to get checked, she was a stage four and she passed away from that. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. From cancer down there. That's crazy. Every time she got sick, she acted tough like I can handle it. It's like it's things like that. You can't say I got this, you know. It's kind of hard. And me, anything, I'll be running to the doctor. I'll be like, I have these headaches that are, that's not just any kind of headache. This is like something serious. Check me out. Mm -hmm. I also have another sister who passed away with lots of tumors in her head. She had cancer in her in her brain. Mm -mm -mm. My grandfather, my dad's side, passed away from brain tumors. And I'm like, mm -mm. his mom had breast cancer. Uh, my grandfather, on my mom's side had lung cancer. It's like, hmm. My cancer, I caught that on time at stage one, at the first stage. So well, my youngest, but my youngest I, survived uh, cancer twice. And 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 for both her pregnancies. Every time I hear children having cancer, I can't watch that on TV. Like, mm -mm. You know, a lot of people post it on her. Facebook for uh, they start crying. The Jimmy Foundation. I start crying all over the place. I get feelings like I can't see the kids that are starving on TV where they say for donations and stuff. Mm -hmm. I can't watch it. I have to walk away. I get all sentimental and all. It's not easy. Mm -mm. Mm. It's not easy. But yeah, Chase, Ron needs me, ladies. See you soon. Blessings. Thank you for hanging out with us. Who's yeah. leaving? Marty is leaving us. Okay, Miss Marty. See you soon. Have See a good night. In the next one. See you Monday night. Oh.
Ah, mas por aí. Tem que desenhar ainda, não. Ah, que Ok. Where's that page at that I was looking at that I wanted to use but I couldn't because I couldn't remember who did it. What is it? What is it? What is it? How about your blueprint? This one. Oh no, this isn't in here. This one belongs in here. I think I found it. You found oh okay. I think I found who made the print. I just got to double check. I can't make my prints any bigger. I have them to the max already. My other printer is out again. I don't know what happened to it. Oh dear. So I'm back to using the uh, the laser, the black and white printer, that black ink. I think it just wants to rest in between time. Mm. It's like, let me take a break. It works and then it don't work. It works and then it don't work. Like, and it's really not that old. It's less than three years old, probably not even two years old yet. I got it at Best Buy during the pandemic. Actually, my son's the one who bought it for me. My son bought me this watch. He bought me those two printers. Um, what else did I get? What else did he get me? He gave me cash because he had this settlement from a car accident, him and his co-workers got into a, they got hit by a truck. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I can't find where Mm -hmm. You can't find it? Mm -mm. And I wouldn't have a clue because I ain't seen those before. I don't know. No, it's from a group that I'm in. I just can't remember who did it in the group. I'm in a few um, Facebook group that do printing stuff too. But for some reason, I just haven't really print this stuff out because a lot of it is journal. Mm-hmm. It has to be the journaling. But they supported me when I was doing my journals. So I just go around putting likes when it comes up on my feed. Mm-hmm. Like and I'll be like, oh I'll print that out later. And I never get around to it. I have them downloaded uh, on, I have the files on my external, so when I need them, I don't have to go searching through the group mm -hmm. to get it. So it's easy for me that way. Oh, I just found a whole bunch of other Christmas stuff. What? But I'm... Um, I need to find who did this file, and so far I haven't found it. Artie Mays, I gotta start using some of her stuff too. She's got some really good stuff for journals. Yeah. Yeah, so I wanted everybody to know that I have not forgotten their giveaways. I'm waiting until the first when I get some money to send everybody's out at the same time. I got everything done. 
just going to finish up uh, DDN's package, and that'll be done before the first. And then when I'm caught up, and then I'll be ready to do another giveaway. Uh, I'm determined to find this file. <laughs> I'm going through every single folder that I have. And you don't know the name of that? No, I don't. Because you could have put the name of it on the search bar up, 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 up on the top of your file. So what's everybody been doing tonight besides chit-chatting? Mari's been causing trouble. I thought that was Angie. Uh -huh. Angie too. <laughs> but when you got all three of us together, that's it. We're done. Y'all done for. Done, done, done. Done, I tell you. Done, done, done. Y'all you, fried to a crisp. No itchiness of that. Oh, you're on this. You're on the Vanessa, the second one, the second account. I'm on both of them. Mm, okay. I'm recording on live on both accounts. I don't see where it says live. So let's go over here. That's your regular one. Okay, let me mute this. There we go. Okay, uh, I hate this because I can't put like on the phone. That's oh, weird. Oh, there we go. There we go. It was, I just had another layer up on top. What is this dude talking about? How to tell if a man is straight or gay? <clears throat> okay, so that's that one. Now let me go up to, is that the second account? No, that's the regular account. Is that the second one? Um, is which was the second one? Uh, they both have different pictures, yeah. But for some reason, it doesn't like want to come all oh, because I don't have okay. Any. This paper here, this one here is Donna Bell. You found it? I found this one and these uh, three tags here, Donna, Donna Bell. I still haven't found the other one. And the Christmas tree with the ornaments hanging, the stocking, the Santa Claus. Let me see. I'm going to show y'all. Okay, put like on this. This here. With the light this lady. Here. This one and this one is all Donna Bell. I'm determined to find this one here. And that's on where, Facebook? Um, I think so. It's been a while since I have the file, so mm. it's hard for me to say. Mm. 
Hmm. Right now I'm looking for this one and I can't find it. Well, I'm done. I'm going to need to make a envelope for this. Well, you can do that while we live, girl. Oh, I wouldn't know how to, what I'm going to do, how, how I'm going to make the envelope. I need to think about that. What kind of paper I'm going to use. I have to go through all of that over there. And all of that over there is a lot. And I don't want to make a mess. So that will come in for another day. <laughs> yeah. No. Hmm. Hmm. I'll probably just take a white cardstock and alcohol spray it with alcohol ink. Yeah. <laughs> or you can make it match somewhat to the card. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I'm going to do is make envelopes for the three cards that I made, but I want to make them similar to the card. Yeah. Okay. I might have an idea where it came from. I'm looking through the folder right now. And he's cutting out hollies. Oh, dear. Sitting, Not everybody doing holly. Sitting on bed, cutting out holly. It's a holly jolly Christmas. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> sing it, girl. Sing it. <laughs> nope, it's not from this person. Okay, this is going to drive me nuts if I can't find it. Oh, they finally got the video. I like watching Life Uncontained. And I also like watching, these are um, Trent and Ali. I like watching them. And then the other one's Beck and Amen. And a a Amen and Beck, something like that. Those are my favorite. Yeah, I have to watch everything on the computer. I don't have a TV. I use my um my tablet, my big tablet. I only watch on the phone when I'm at the doctor's or whatever. I don't take the big tablet with me. Now, when I'm in the hospital, I always take my big tablet with me and my charger and everything. Because I have human When I'm laying in bed, I watch on my iPad on my tablet. Yeah, the iPad. But it's too big for me to take with me, only to the hospital. I got a special purse just for that, a tote bag. Mm -hmm. So when I go to the hospital, I put underwear in it, bra in it, um, slippers. Like, I got it prepared. I got it ready to because I know more or less when if they're going to keep me or not. It depends on how bad you are when you go in. Mm-hmm. But I mainly go in, like, when I have asthma attacks and my heart and my blood pressure is high and, and in that situation with the blood. Mm-hmm. second time, the first time I was bleeding out the butt, and that was diverticulitis. And then this time I was bleeding instead of peeing. I was bleeding. I was peeing blood. But I knew they weren't going to keep me for that. So. But it's always better to be safe than sorry. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I always go. I don't, I don't brave out nothing. A normal headache is a normal headache. 
a normal stomach pain is a normal stomach pain. Oh, that was a year ago. Back pains, like I just take Tylenol, stuff like that. But if it's mm -hmm. something worse or it's going to make me want to shed tears, then I got to go. I'd be, I'd be huffing and puffing instead of tearing. I'd be like, oh, oh I can't stand it. Oh, my God. Hurt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. oh, God, please, God, please take this bed away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then I go to the hospital. Otherwise, That's how it's got to be. Mm -hmm. I'm the same way, girl. Do you know that they found him dead? Yep. And did you hear about what happened uh, in the movie set of... Yeah, that was a shame. Now he's going to live with that for the rest of his life. Yeah, and the first thing that came to my mind, the same thing that happened with Bruce Lee. Same thing happened with Bruce Lee. But they say Bruce Lee's son, when that happened, that was intentional. Somebody set him up. Not his son, his father. No, he did. His son. His son he got did. shot on set. No, I'm talking about Bruce Lee. The yeah, father. Bruce Lee's son, Brandon, got shot on set. Yeah, I'm, but I'm talking about the father because I didn't. I wasn't aware that his son got shot. I'm, I know about his father getting shot on the set. Mm -hmm. His father, they were act, doing a, doing a, a movie and, he, and it was a real bullet. I don't know who put, they're supposed to be prop guns and they don't test it before they um do anything they, they should but stop that's the way it goes they should stop using these guns they period be, they should have been plastic they can always use sound effects mm -hmm. and it's a lot safer that one with sound effects and a plastic toy gun mm-hmm but they use the real thing. And, and you, and, and toy gun, you can tell the, the weight. Just by looking at it right away, you know, the cops even get confused with toy guns. But when you take them in your hand, you know which was real and which was not. Uh -huh. When you look at it up close. But when it's just, you know, from far, from a certain distance, you can't tell which one is which. That's true. Okay, this is going to bother the cracking dollars out of me because I still haven't found it yet. And I've been through almost every folder. Hmm. Nah, it's better to look, as they say, it's better to look through fresh eyes in the morning. It'll, it'll pop up without you even looking for it. Mm-hmm. Oh, Angie, no. Driving oh, you nuts, Vanessa, but not. <laughs> yeah. But, ladies, we will let y'all go right here. We've been on for two hours and 14 minutes. Um, Thank you all for watching. It's greatly appreciated that you all are here and supporting us. We will see y'all Monday on Millie's channel at 8 p.m. And we're working with the letter H for holiday. So be prepared for that on Monday. So we'll holiday. see y'all Monday <laughs> on Millie's channel at 8, 8, at 8, 8, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So... Bye-bye for now, Craft Angels. See you later. Sweet Bye. dreams, everyone. Bye. Adios. Hasta luego. Hasta mañana. <laughs>